Friends, before I wrap up the video, I'd want to provide all Social Security recipients some last-minute information from the U.S. Congress. By doing so, I hope to make sure they are informed about all the current happenings in Washington, including the shocking revelation that more than 65 million people in this nation get benefits from Social Security. It would be really helpful if you could remember to hit the like button. You should also remember to subscribe. It's totally free. Let's have a discussion. Today, the U.S. Congress took a decision that has shocked the country's citizens. Surprisingly, this decision directly affects over 65 million people who receive Social Security benefits, including disability benefits. Of course, I'm referring to one of the most significant federal government agencies. Look at the person portrayed on screen. Republican Senator from Alabama, named Tommy Turbull, has shocked everyone with his recent comments. Unfortunately, the American public finds this revelation shocking. I'll give you a thorough rundown of his remarks today, which directly affect the financial situation of every Social Security beneficiary. It appears that the senator is frustrated with Joe Biden's administration and thinks that the nation would gain more if the federal government of the United States just closed for a few months, many people questioned what the man was talking about and how it was conceivable that he was advocating that we shutter the doors to the federal government. Above all, what is the intention? This man continued to say things that no one could understand, like we need to close all of these buildings and go home, and that we should wait the next seven or eight months before. We're not sure what this Republican senator from Alabama is talking about now. But I find it annoying that every time we make decisions that really subjugate this country, as Senator Turbel stated on Wednesday to a significant media outlet. Ultimately, the response remained consistent. When our nation holds elections, these guys regrettably come out and attack me with remarks that, in my opinion, harm this nation greatly and, most importantly, cause suffering to everyone, in this case, the Social Security beneficiaries. Please remember to hit the thank you button if you enjoy our work. It will greatly benefit our channel. However, you might be wondering what was the motivation behind all of these comments, which at first nobody could understand. The explanation is sadly quite straightforward. All of these remarks related to the Social Security system in the United States of America. The senator launched a fierce attack on the Social Security Agency and the program overall as soon as he started criticizing the situation of Social Security in this nation. Aware that the Social Security Administration of the U.S. federal government provides benefits to over 65 million people nationwide, and that for a large percentage of these people, the agency's monthly checks are necessary for the agency to carry out its mandate to provide benefits to each of these people, and it's crucial to keep in mind that nobody is requesting gifts. Due to their continued contributions during their working years, which earned them the retirement benefits, all of these people are entitled to retirement benefits from the United States Social Security. Entitlement to a monthly Social Security check in their senior years, guaranteeing a pleasant existence in this nation. Yet, the Senator's subsequent remarks will probably surprise you. He reiterated that the majority of people will not receive Social Security benefits. A statement that immediately scared everyone. This is a really bad position for the people of the United States. For years, we imposed this tax on them while passing a bill of goods, but we gave them assurances that we would fund their retirement as we had promised the Republican Senate. Naturally, the state of Alabama and the U.S. federal government in establishing the Social Security program merely instructed citizens to pay a tax while they were employed by the U.S. government in order to fund their retirement. But when you become older, that's how, how Social Security functions. Every industrialized nation in the world has a social insurance program, which is, incidentally, more effective than ours in the United States. Nevertheless, it's important to recognize the significance of this since nobody has found warm water with Social Security insurance in any of these countries. Program for the People of America The unfunded liabilities of the federal government related to benefit programs such as Social Security, according to a Republican senator from Alabama, are estimated to be around $93.1 trillion. It's unfortunate that these checks are necessary for these people to survive, but it's... 
It is important to note that the senators and congressmen who support the removal of Social Security from the United States are individuals who do not depend on these benefits. They are paid well in this nation and have access to a variety of perks and privileges, including financial support. They receive a plethora of services and benefits for themselves and their families while serving in Congress, making them immune to the same issues as people in other countries, despite the hard work they do in the United States Congress. Senator continued by explaining that if we had moved the money from Social Security into a retirement plan or individual savings account, such a 4,001k or one of these retirement accounts, then other countries would not have to rely on the Social Security check for their only source of income. Plans for savings. It would have been worth 10, 15, 20, or 30 times more than it is now. But the circumstances we are in right now are really regrettable. The Republican senator from Alabama, Senator Turbell, persisted in asserting that the federal government is clueless about to handle your finances and would prefer that you keep making larger tax payments. Additionally, I would like to know if this senator is as critical of Republican presidents or if he is limited to questioning Democratic presidents. As I am aware that Social Security has been in the U.S. for many years through Republican and Democratic administrations, as well as both party-dominated Congresses. How is it then conceivable that this senator is blaming the federal government at this point? The best part is that this man has already stated his intentions regarding the U.S. Social Security program. Remind friends that a report from the Social Security and Medicare program trustees indicates that the Social Security Trust Fund will expire in 2035. Senator Turbell has stated publicly in recent months that he believes it is doubtful that Americans will receive Social Security benefits in the next decades. The issue is that this man does not offer any alternatives. He asserts, or is in charge of asserting, that this program is ineffective and that, of course, we should discontinue it or replace it with something else, but regrettably, he does not offer the federal government of this nation and the Congress of the U.S to talk about a different choice. The senator continued by explaining that the money you have been sending to Social Security and Medicare via your paychecks, either on a monthly or weekly basis, for years is no longer available. The senator, a Republican from Alabama, claimed that the money was no longer available, no longer accessible naturally. This claim made all Social Security recipients anxious and distressed. He went on to say that the politicians had spent the money so tax revenue collection was required to raise money and create a larger budget especially for this purpose. That really drew my notice was, the politicians have spent it. I think the term, the politicians have spent it, should be changed to expressly refer to the politicians. This senator, who is also a politician, is the reason we have spent it, is accountable for the nation's current economic situation, and for choices that unfortunately have not been made stronger.